watching my videos for a while, you probably know how much I love handmade products and shops on Etsy.com. I have my own Etsy shop, Fairweather Friends, but I also love to support other artists and makers whenever I can. Today I wanted to tell you guys about some of my favorite Etsy shops and show you the things that I bought from them. I'll be putting all kinds of information and links to where you can find their work in the video description below, so definitely check that out if you're interested. First up is a business called Figs and Ginger. Figs and Ginger makes probably my favorite jewelry of all time. All of their designs have these adorable little animals on them. They're all nature inspired. They're beautiful and tiny. They use recycled metals to make them. I wear their little bird studs in my ears pretty much every single day. I'm really picky about my jewelry and they're one of the few companies that every single time they release something new, I'm in love with it. It's 100% my style. I've given a bunch of their pieces of jewelry away as gifts and people always love them. I really just can't recommend them highly enough. They're also really big Harry Potter fans and they're in a band. If you're looking for beautiful nature inspired jewelry that you can wear with pretty much anything, you absolutely have to check out Figs and Ginger. The next shop that I really love is Thread Follower, also known as Cynthia Treen Studio. I originally found her because she sells at craft shows and RISD alumni sales near where I live and she designs beautifully detailed plush toys and then she puts together these adorable little kits that include the pattern, instructions for how to make them and all of the materials you need. I bought her Felix box kit and made this little fox using her instructions. Normally the plush toys that I make are very simple and they're made out of fleece and they don't have clothes and this was such a cool project to do. It was really cool making a piece that was totally different from the style that I work in normally and it was so much fun to make this. I'm definitely going to get more of her kits in the future because I had such a great time making this and he sits up on my shelf and I love him so much. And she also also has different projects for different difficulty levels, so she has stuff that's a little bit easier to make than this fox, which is more intermediate to difficult. So if you're just starting out making plush toys, there are plenty of easier projects in her store that you could make. The next shop that I absolutely love is Cat Rabbit Plush. I have not had the opportunity to buy one of her pieces yet, but I definitely will at some point. She makes some of the coolest, weirdest, most detailed, beautiful plush toys that I've ever seen. They're really sculptures. They all have the greatest little clothes and accessories and they have so much personality. As a plush maker myself, I admire Cat Rabbit so much. I actually encountered one of her pieces in the wild one time. It was a Ron Weasley doll that she made for my friend Paul DeJoy from Harry and the Potters. And when I spotted it in Wonder Fair, which is the gallery and store that Paul and his wife Meredith own in Lawrence, Kansas, I was so excited. <laughs> After years of just adoring her work, that was a really cool surprise. And I was really pumped to just get to see one up close and see all of the little details and ah, uh, it was so great. Her characters also appear in books and some really beautiful animations, which I'm gonna link to you guys in the video description. You have to check them out. The next shop is called Inedible Jewelry. They make the cutest, tiniest polymer clay food jewelry and I love it so much. Last Christmas I bought myself a pair of sugar cookie snowman earrings and I wore them to the Yule Ball and when I got them in the mail I was just so surprised at how tiny and detailed and beautiful they are. And you can't eat them but you probably wouldn't want to because they're really well made and beautiful and I just like them a whole lot. Next one is Sweet Bestiary and I also haven't managed to buy anything from this store yet but every time I look at her work I just get so so happy. She makes these beautiful little hand-painted sculptures and their characters are so whimsical and weird and I love them. The next shop is Chandler the Robot. This one is owned and run by Meg Frampton who is a brilliant musician who started making jewelry between tours. So I relate to her story quite a bit and that makes me extra excited to support her. She makes these wonderful little robot necklaces. I have this little Chandler bot with the headphones and an aviator with a scarf and some goggles. She also does other items in the same style and I bought these little clock earrings from her as well. And the last one I'm going to talk about today is called Sepia Lepus. She's an artist named Carrie Wagner and I originally found her because she sells her work in and around Providence, Rhode Island. I absolutely love her art style. She does a lot of really beautiful work that features animals like these narwhals. I also have a lot of prints of her work hanging in my living room. She also usually hides a little rabbit in each of her paintings and I particularly like this little mer rabbit swimming with the narwhals. That's it for now but if you guys enjoyed this kind of video and you'd like to see more like it, let me know. I get really excited excited about handmade art and I would love to share more of my favorites with you guys in the future. In the comments, tell me about your favorite Etsy shops. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.